All right, well, all of us probably just want to escape the cold and the snow at the moment. Maybe you just need a spot for the kids to burn off some energy and stay warm. The Como Zoo and Conservatory, always a great option. And the Conservatory is home to a really stunning holiday display. Garden Guy Dale Kay is live at the Conservatory this morning. He's got a look at the holiday flower show, all in white. Very cool. Hey, nothing better than being here at the Marjorie McNeely Conservatory on a cold winter's day. And really, any, any day of the year is a great time to be here. They're open 365 days a year. So if you've got the family in town for, for the holidays, you can come here Christmas Eve, even come here Christmas Day. It changes actually five times all throughout the year seasonally. So if you're curious about horticulture, of course, if you want to see beautiful flowers, it's a great place to come. It's even a great place for maybe a romantic walk. The last time I was here, literally on this very spot, there was a young couple that came in. This guy got on his knees. I'm just like, oh my gosh, he's going to propose. And by geez, by crikey, he did. She said, yes, don't worry. I'm not going to drop to my knees and propose and do anything crazy like that. Joining us this morning, Ariel, who is the kind of the head honcho here at the conservatory. Okay, let's get one thing out of the way right away. Everything is white this year. It is, we thought it would be elegant, serene. It's a warm white and it's surprising. We haven't done this show before in white. So it was something we looked forward to challenging ourselves with. You know, I, I was gonna say, I've been coming here for maybe better two decades almost and I've never seen a white holiday display. You know, usually you're into the traditional reds and maybe pinks. Um, so you wanted to challenge yourself or you wanted to just come up with something a little bit different as a challenge? Something different and you'll see that we played around a lot with fragrance and texture in the show. We've got a lot of topiaries. There's a ton of succulents in the form of wreaths and um, these topiary balls. And so when people are coming in here, they're touching the herbs, releasing the fragrance of the lemon cypress and rosemary, enjoying the paper whites, and then also seeing all those fun textures and succulents. Now, a great place to have uh, maybe a family photograph. Um, tell us a little bit about all the different kind of whites. And you mentioned the fragrances. Let's, uh, mm -hmm. let's touch on those as well. So we've got fragrance in the form of the paper whites. And then we've got our rosemary. And, and that's actually in bloom. Look at, that little, look at that little bloom there. Yeah, we should pluck that color right <laughs> out of here. But <laughs> no, the rosemary is a wonderful scent. A lot of people associate it with the holidays. And then we've got a creamy white calathea. This is my favorite calathea. You'll see this in the North Garden as well, velvet leaf calathea to accompany those white points. You don't see those in bloom that often. No. No, that's, that's skillful. Right. That's, All right. Yeah. You're right. You got it. And I think this is currently the best white poinsettia on the market. Every year, plant breeders try to get a, a clearer white, and this is frozen white poinsettias. Euphorbia glitz, Calendiva white calancho, and here's that Euphorbia topiar that we talked about. There's also some beautiful succulent wreaths that are hanging off our elevator boxes. So lots to see here when you come check out this show. It's going on through the 8th of January. You mentioned this little lemon cypress mm -hmm. here. That one really has a, it's kind of a cool plant to have kind of in, inside your home uh, to have that kind of lemon fragrance. So when do you actually start growing all the poinsettias for, for the show? When do you start planting? Those arrive in the summer. They're um, typically here in two shipments, June and July, about three inches tall when we get them and then we grow them on from there. Okay. And then as far as timing goes, how long does it take you to actually switch over from one show to the other, how much work is involved? We allow ourselves a week on the schedule, but this one took us about three days. We add in a little other maintenance to the room, so in addition to replanting the flower show, we try to get any cleaning out of the way. So this year we drained the pool and swamped that out, and made sure the fountain was in good shape before we refilled it. And what, what's been the reaction to the white, I guess? Most people are pretty happy with it. There are a few people that say, we've got enough white outside in Minnesota. Why'd you do that? We come here for <laughs> color. and. For those people, I want you to know it's all going to be back to beautiful color in January, but please bear with us. We try to please all the people, and it won't be all the time, so it's always changing. It's actually very, very peaceful. It's, it's, it's very tran uh, tranquil, very peaceful, which I find quite calming at this time of the year. So Ariel mentioned this show does run through January 8th, mentioned that they're open all year round. Uh, the Marjorie McNeely Conservatory is a wonderful place to be, um, particularly in the holidays. And if you've got that family that's out of town, maybe they're from Florida and they don't have snow. Well, now you can have white indoors and you can have white outdoors. And before I send it back, uh, photojournalist Chip Elmquist and I, we're having our little holiday uh, favorite uh, dish. 
It uh, goes from way back. It's a little chicken and cheese sandwich. Um, so that's what we're enjoying for our holiday feast. That's so right cute. I just, I just wanted to get that in because I don't really eat them anymore. I kind of gave up on those, but. That was unexpected. Back to you.